Hey everyone, welcome back. In this SQL tutorial, we are going to learn about the SQL string functions. So string functions, what they'll help you to do is they'll help you to take a string value as an input and returns an output string based on what you want to perform operation. So say for example, you want to find the length of the string or you want to convert the string to uppercase, lowercase, you want to trim the spaces from the start or finish or at the end of the uh, string, you want to get the substring all of that is possible using the string functions within SQL. Now we are using MySQL so I'll be referring to the MySQL string functions but if you're using any other database most of these functions are standard across other databases so but but it is highly recommended to refer to the official documentation of these different databases for example you are using DB2 go ahead and search for the DB2 string functions and use those okay so let me go to the documentation here and here we had looked at the aggregate function so in the functions itself let's go to the uh, string function so I'll go to functions and operators and let's find the string functions and operators okay so here we'll see what all string functions are there okay so there are so many string functions that will be helpful in different sort of situations but I'll cover some of the very commonly used so for example concatenation right so concat so return the concatenated string or you want to have the return the character of each integer passed then return you you use the character you want the character length then return the number of characters in the argument okay uh, similarly we have uh, the very commonly used ones is lowercase so basically you can convert the string to a lowercase or the upper right so l case or the upper case so basically uh, there is a return the argument in the lower so lower is another one so what is the difference between l case it is basically similar or synonym of the lower okay similarly left trim is le uh, remove leading spaces okay l trim and then you have the r trim right so r trim will be somewhere here remove trailing spaces right so these these are the trim functions to remove the trailing spaces or the leading spaces then you have the trim which trims removes leading and trailing spaces okay so trim is basically if you want to remove all the spaces then use trim if you want to remove the trailing spaces then use the uh, r trim okay similarly u case and a trim upper all right so these are some of the commonly used ones or a substring to get the substring of a string that you pass so let's quickly go ahead and understand some of these and how you are going to use them so this is the big sort of list of the string functions you can go through the list it's not recommended that you go ahead and learn and by heart and memorize everything but yes go through them uh, for example length it will return the length of the strings in byte right so all of these will be really sort of helpful like so it is simple pattern matching which will be helpful in the cases wherein you want to compare say for example you are testing an application and you pass certain value or a certain string in the input of the registration form and then you want to compare that the input value that you passed that pattern matches to the value that is there within the database right so these are sort of some scenarios where it will be helpful okay so let's go to workbench and i will create another file new query tab and let's okay so minimize this and then let's see the let's get the details from the table that we have created okay so i'll say select star from customer order and then we'll work on some of the string functions on the same table okay so we know that we have some of the street names there now let's get some of the string functions or let's learn some of the string functions and see how the string functions will be helpful for you okay so now say for example i want to return all the street names uh, and the customer names as uppercase okay so what i'll do is i'll simply say select and then i'll say upper okay and what i want to change into uppercase i want to change the uppercase to customer name right so i want all the customer name as the in, in uppercase and then i also want the street in uppercase okay so i'll say upper customer name and street and then from customer order table all right if i run this 
you will see all of the values in the customer name and the street have been converted into the uppercase okay so this is how the string function upper will help you to convert the string into uppercase okay now if i want to convert everything to the lowercase on in both of these columns right so i will simply change the method or the function to lower instead of upper okay so all of these strings in customer name and street will be converted to lowercase okay so this is how upper and lower functions work okay now if let's see what what else we have let's see for example we want the length all right or uh, so let's see what all length functions we have do we have length yep so we we have this length right so return the length of a string in bytes okay i want to get the length of string okay so what i'll do is i'll say length instead of the lower function i'll say i want a length of customer name okay let's let's just leave customer name okay we don't want both the columns i just want length of the customer name so if i run this you will see it will return me the length of the customer name for each of the rows for each of the customer name that is there in the row okay so this is what the length will do then we have the lower we have looked at the lower we have looked at the upper uh then reverse okay so what reverse will do is reverse will reverse the characters in the string so if i say reverse let's say reverse for the name and see what will be the outcome so if i say reverse customer name and run this you will see it will reverse the name it will reverse the characters right so it's pretty simple and straightforward it reverses the characters in the string then we have the trim right so if there are any spaces then if there are any trailing spaces and you want to remove trailing spaces you use r trim and if there are leading and trailing spaces then you use trim and if you want to remove both of them okay so because there are no trailing spaces as such so that's okay so let me do one thing let me add some of the rows so that we have trailing spaces okay so let me copy this insert statement from there and i want to insert the customer order and let me add some of the spaces some leading spaces and then test name and some other trailing spaces as well okay so if we have something like this in the street sydney street okay something like that and then here as well we do have some spaces in between then um, in beginning as well and here we have this test name and then there are some leading spaces some spaces in between and some trailing spaces okay so if we insert these values right let me insert these values in the table and then let's see these values are there okay yep so we have these values right so now if i simply get the customer names okay so we move it at the top we get some space there and i just want to select the customer name okay so select customer name from customer order okay so you will see there are some spaces right so there are some leading and trailing spaces so how can i remove these spaces okay so the trim function will help me to quickly remove any of the spaces that are there in the customer name okay so if i run the trim and you will see that any of the spaces the leading and trailing spaces have been removed okay so now what else let's see what other functions we have so for example substring is very other uh, commonly used one so substring and then replace replace you can replace the occurrences of a specific string so if say for example if i go to replace i want to replace something in this particular string right so if you see the format of the replace so replace the string and then from string and to string right so what it will do is it will return the string str with all occurrences of the string from string replaced by the string to string right so what you have to do is replace this particular string and then we have what it's saying is from w to ww okay so what it will do is it will basically replace this it will basically check that each time it finds this occurrence so from this string whatever a w occurrence then it will replace it with this ww right so that's how it will help to replace so if say for example here i want to replace something so let's say i in the name 
I want to replace. All right, so now we know replace will accept three arguments there, right? So the string from string and to string, okay? So what string I want to replace is basically I'll say cust name, okay? And then what is the string, the, the from string? So from string we have to specify and then what is the result and basically to string. So from string, if I say anywhere, if you see the A, okay, replace it with bb all right so let's see what will be the outcome so if i run this you will see that here anywhere the a was there right so ali has been changed to bb li right so anywhere it was uh, basically the a and it has been replaced by the okay so this is basically how the replace function will work you can go through the details it's pretty self-explanatory and uh, nothing uh, to worry about because all the documentation is there and it will be really helpful if you go through the documentation okay then we have looked at the uh, substring okay so substring is another one so if i say for example want to get the substring so substring example let's see select substring of this and then just the five right so what this argument is all about is so basically if you'll see a string and then position right so the second argument is the position so this position if you specify five it will basically start from uh, the first and return the five okay um, then you have other arguments as well substring string and then from position so basically if you say from this particular position okay so from fourth position okay so if you say substring of foo bar bar you have these examples and then from four so basically zero one two three uh sorry uh from four so one two three four so from this four it will return it will return bar bar okay and then if you say five it will basically start from one two three four and then five basically the this much will be returned okay so position and the position will start from one so that's important to remember that it's not an index that starts with zero okay so similarly here if you say see that we have these two arguments so basically the start and finish okay so here you will say the position right substring then you put pass the string position and length right so the third argument is basically length and that's what we have seen the example here so it will start from one two three four five so basically from r and then the length from there so one two three four five six up to a so it will it is displaying that right so there are different examples of the substring here and you can basically go through it and it's very helpful to understand okay so now here if we want to use the substring then i can simply say sub str okay i can use sub str or substring basically both are synonymous if you'll see substring same thing sub str is synonym synonym of substring so i can say customer name and then i can specify the position right so i i want to have a substring say for example i want to start from number two okay so i can specify number two from the column and you will see that a has been removed and then the name are being displayed there okay so if i move it a little bit you will see all the first characters have been removed and substring has been displayed okay so these are some of the commonly used string functions in sql so the list is very big but i want to give you a idea where you want to go and refer this list and how you are going to read this documentation so that you can quickly understand right so as we went through the string substring you know like all of these examples are given okay so here you can understand that substring string position and length substring string from position for length so all of these examples are given you can go ahead and practice these and this is the best sort of documentation to go ahead and learn any functions within mysql okay so that's all for this tutorial on how you are going to use string functions in sql i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching